Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is x plus 1 to the power of 4 plus x plus 5 to the power of 4, this is equal to that 2. So what are the values of x? Now let's provide a solution from here. Now we have x plus 1 to the power of 4, then plus x plus 5 to the power of 4, this is equal to that 2. We can express x plus 1 as x plus 3 minus 2 raised to the power of 4. If you see 3 minus 2, this is the same thing as 1. So we can express this as x plus 3 minus 2 to the power of 4. Of 4. Then here we can express x plus 5 as x plus 3 plus 2 raised to the power of 4, this is equal to that 2. Now we have x plus 3 here and x plus 3 here. So we can let x plus 3 be equal to u. So that now we substitute x plus 3 with u so that we have u minus 2 to the power of 4, then plus into the parenthesis we have u plus 2 raised to the power of 4, this is equal to 32. We can express u minus 2 to the power of 4 as u minus 2 to the power of 2, then raised to the power of 2. Then plus, here we have u plus 2 raised to the power of 2, then raised to the power of 2. This is equal to that 2. Now, the next step from here, we can expand u minus 2 to the power of 2. Remember, this is in the form of a minus b to the power of 2, which we can express as a squared plus b squared minus 2ab. We have also u plus 2 to the power of 2. This is in the form of a plus b the power of 2, which you can express as a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. So applying this algebraic identity, we have here, we have u squared minus 4u, then plus 4, everything here raised to the power of 2, then plus, here we have u squared plus 4u, then plus 2 squared, which is 4. Everything here raised to the power of 2. This is equal to that 2. Now, the next step from here, we can let u squared, u squared plus 4 be equal to m. And we can let 4u b equal to n. So this implies that here, if we substitute m and n, we have m minus n raised to the power of 2, then plus, here if we substitute m and n, we have m plus n raised to the power of 2, this is equal to that 2. Now, the next step is that we can expand this m minus n to the power of 2, which becomes m squared, then plus n squared minus 2mn, then plus here. If we expand here, we have m squared, then plus n squared, then plus 2mn. This is equal to 32. So let us expand m minus n to the power of 2. This is the same thing as m squared plus n squared minus 2mn, then plus. Here we have m squared plus n squared, then plus 2nm. This is equal to that 2. So we have minus 2mn here and plus 2mn here. So this simplifies. And then we have m squared plus m squared. This is 
m squared then plus n squared plus n squared this is 2 n squared this is equal to 32 now the next step is that 2 is common here so we can factor out 2 so that we have into the parentheses m squared plus n squared cross the parentheses this is equal to 32 so let's divide by 2 both signs so that now we have m squared plus n squared this is equal to that 2 divided by 2 which is equal to 16 and if we recall we are saying that let m be equal to u squared plus 4 so we can substitute u squared plus 4 raised to the power of 2 then plus n squared n is 4u raised to the power of 2 this is equal to 16 now, now let's expand this equation here. So this is u to the power of 2 raised to the power of 2, then plus 4 squared, then plus we have 2 times u squared, then times 4, then plus 4u squared, and this is equal to 16, u squared, this is equal to 16. So this means that u to the power of 2 to the power of 2, this is u to the power of 4, then plus 4 squared, this is 16, then plus 4 times 2 u squared, this becomes 8 u squared, then plus 16 u squared, this is equal to 16. So we have plus 16 here and we have 16 here, so this simplifies. And then this means that we have u to the power of 4 plus... 8u squared plus 16u squared, so this becomes 24u squared, this is equal to 0. Now, we have that u squared is common here, so we can factor out u squared. Into the parentheses, we have u squared plus 24, this is equal to 0. So we have two parts here, we have that u squared is equal to 0. And we have that u squared plus 24, this is equal to 0. So, so for u in the first place here, if we get the square root of u squared here, we have that u is equal to 0. And we have that in, in on the second case here, we have u squared. Let's take plus 24 on the right hand side. So this is equal to minus 20. Four. And this implies that so for u here, we introduce square root on both sides. So we have the square root of u squared. This is equal to plus or minus the square root of minus 24. So the next step here is to simplify so that we have u is equal to plus or minus. We can express the square root of minus 24 as this is the same thing as 4 times 6 times minus 1 and therefore we have u is equal to plus or minus the square root of 4 this is 2 the square root of minus 1 this is i then square root of 6 now we have that u1 is equal to 0 and u2 comma u3 this is equal to plus or minus 2i square root of 6. Now, if you recall, if you recall, we are saying that let x plus 3 be equal to u. So we can solve for the values of x given we have the values of u here. So let's start with u1. We have that x plus 3. This is equal to 0. So that means that x1 is equal to minus 3. So this is the value of x1. Now, let's proceed to u2, u3 here. So this means that x plus 3, this is equal to plus or minus 2i square root of 6. Now, let's take 3 on the right hand side. So that now we have x equal to minus 3 plus or minus 2i square root of 6. 
So this means that we have x2 is equal to minus 3 plus 2i square root of 6 and x3 is equal to minus 3 minus 2i square root of 6. Now these are two complex solutions. These are two complex solutions. And we have only one deep solution here, which is x1, which is minus 3. This is the only real solution here. So let's verify quickly here. So let's verify. Let's verify here. Now given x1 is equal to minus 3, and if you recall, we end that x plus 1 to the power of 4 plus x plus 5 to the power of 4, this should give us a value of 32. So let's substitute x equal to minus 3. So we have minus 3 plus 1 raised to the power of 4. Then plus, here we have minus 3 plus 5 raised to the power of 4. This should give us a value of 32. Minus 3 plus 1, this is minus 2 raised to the power of 4, then plus, minus 3 plus 5, this is 2, raised to the power of 4, this is supposed to give us a value of 32. Now, minus 2 to the power of 4, this is 16, then plus 2 to the power of 4, this is 16, this is equal to 32. So 16 plus 16, this is 32, which is equal to 32. So the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. And this and this verifies that the real solution here, which is x1, satisfies the equation. So thank you for watching. Kindly follow the steps. Like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video.